All right, so as someone who posts primarily about Saints history, I tend to hold those guys from yesteryear on like a bit of a pedestal. You know, and I romanticize, you know, all the great things that they've done for, for good reason. There are a lot of great players. Now, if we're specifically talking about running backs, you know, there's a lot of great players all throughout the timeline of Saints history. You got the guys like Chuck Muncie, George Rogers, graduates into Dalton Hilliard, Ricky Williams, uh, Deuce McAllister, and you get into some of the more recent guys like Pierre Thomas and Mark Ingram. All of them great running backs. All of them did a lot of things really well. However, there is no denying Alvin Kamara and his greatness. Do you think he's the greatest running back in Saints history? I, in my opinion, I already do. But I'm going to help try and convince you, if you're on the fence, why he is, and if not now, will be the greatest running back in New Orleans Saints history. So we're going to get into the numbers in a second because there not only did he just set the record for most career touchdowns, there are a whole slew of records and notches that he's going to get in the Saints leaderboard coming up as soon as this week that, uh, that are worth noting. But before we get into any of that, I want to talk about some of the things that make a running back great. Uh, aside from availability, everybody says that the best ability is availability. Obviously, you got to be on the field. You, you can't be injured all the time. You can't have substance abuse issues. You can't have these, you know, like the beginning of the season when he got suspended, can't have those kind of issues all the time because it's going to affect your ability to climb the ranks and be looked at as, as a guy that's going to be uh, a lethal threat week in and week out. Now, I'd say if there is a knock on Kamara, the one knock would be he's not this 250-pound guy that's going to plow his way through the line. But there are many instances throughout his career already that they're looking for a third and one, a fourth and one, something like that. And whether it's the, the, the power and the leverage that he uses by getting low or his elusiveness and his vision to, to find that hole, that he'll get those, those yards, those, those tough yards. Quick snap. Camara in a crowd and into the end zone for a touchdown, Saints. Another thing you look for in a running back is awareness. Camara, incredible awareness. Things out, he usually does for that defense. Passed over to Camara, gets out of traffic. Look how many Rams he was able to dodge. Vision, you want to talk about vision? Alvin Camara, he sees the field, he sees things opening up before they even open up. Uh, another another check in the box for Alvin Kamara. Never know what to call based on personnel. Kamara, look at Kamara go. Look at Kamara past the 50 and racing down the sideline. They can't get him. He breaks it for the touchdown. Okay, balance. Obviously, you know, the ability to take a hit, bounce off it, and keep going. Outside of Pierre Thomas, I can't even think of another player who's even in the same stratosphere as Alvin Kamara. And I'd say Kamara's probably even better than that. All right, first down, they set up a screen to Kamara. And he's inside the 20, cuts it back to the inside, still on his feet inside the 10. Kamara with a touchdown. I'm feeling on big number 98, Clinton McDonald. Those guys don't quit. They understand the importance of screens to make it work. You have to have effort, 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 and that's why the Saints are the best screen team in the game. And while it's great that you're able to bounce off those hits, stay on your feet, and keep moving, Kamara is also really damn elusive. Keep being aggressive. From the 40, new set of downs off the penalty. Tossing it over to Kamara. No one gets him on the first hit. Look at the hurdle now. Yes, they used to have track and field here for the Olympics. The ability to catch the ball out of the backfield, Kamara, check. Line. They can dunk right now for the Saints, although Kamara makes it a much bigger game with the run after the catch. The ability to break tackles, we spoke about that a little bit earlier, but you've, you've got the combination of his elusiveness, his balance, and his ability to kind of get low when he needs to. Breakaway speed is another parameter that we measure running backs by. And Kamara's got that, like, sneaky breakaway speed. It doesn't even look like he's running that hard, but guys on the defense just can't catch him. 
Reeves gives it to Kamara. He's got a huge open. And he's able to get past the secondary and take off for his third touchdown of the game. Also, you need your running back to be a good blocker, pick up the blitz, something Kamara has really improved on a lot over the course of his career. Judon, here is a second and six. They leak through, but the pass is there, and he's wide open. And a nose for the end zone. He's already got the most touchdowns in Saints history. He's He feels like every year is, is the prime of his career. I don't know when this guy is going to slow down, but he's already got the record that he just took from Colston last week. And who knows where that number gets pushed by the time he's all said and done. Certainly has a nose for the end zone. Brian in Atlanta, yeah, you got to be on your game almost every week. Well, Kamara certainly on his as he takes it in for a Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara with his first NFL score. So all that being said, all that video evidence, let's talk about the numbers, where he sits in Saints history, and where he projectively could be going. Now, as we mentioned, he already has the most touchdowns in Saints history with 73. He's going to continue to push that number week in and week out until it gets in the stratosphere somewhere. I would guess he's going to finish his career, his Saints career, over 100. Right now, he sits at number three all time in Saints rush yards, 830 yards behind Deuce McAllister, which I would guess he will uh, eclipse that number before the end of the 2023 season. He is 1,234 yards behind Mark Ingram. Next season, barring any catastrophic injury or something like that, he should be able to eclipse Ingram and be the all-time Saints leading rusher. Here's a stat that might boggle your mind. He is currently number 10 all-time in Saints receiving yards. And by the end of this season, most likely he's going to pass guys like Dev Henderson, Lance Moore, pretty pretty wild when you think about a running back having those kind of productive numbers, just receiving the ball and, and gaining yards that way. He's also number five all-time in receptions, and he's not going to pass Marcus Colston. It, that would take a, a, a really long career to do. But the fact that he may pass guys like Eric Martin, Joe Horn in receptions is just uh, equally as wild. And the last numbers I got for you, he is only 33 yards behind Marcus Colston in all-purpose yards all time for the Saints. He'll pass that this coming weekend. Just mind-boggling what this guy's done. It seems like he just got here, and maybe that's just me showing my age, but it is what it is. All right, so I don't know if I've convinced you. Maybe if you agreed with me coming into the video, maybe this was just a celebration of Alan Kamara. If you didn't agree with me, maybe you're stuck in the... You know, yeah, but he still hasn't done X, Y, and Z. I don't know. I mean, I got my whole list of, of things that he's done. I don't know what more he would need to do to prove that he's the greatest Saints running back of all time. But AK, if you're watching this, you're already there. Who'd add everybody?